Hi friends, welcome to Linux Fork. My name is Chandan and friends, in this video I am going to talk about how we can mount blob storage on Linux system. And the purpose of mounting this blob storage on Linux system is first, uh, like uh, suppose uh, we have some bulk data and we want to move that data to blob storage. That is one case. Other case is when like suppose uh, suppose you have one application that is uh, running on the linux system okay and you want to uh, store your log file okay on blob storage in that condition is also uh, we are using this uh, blob fuse and uh, we we are mounting our linux system and then we are moving all the application log to the blob storage the purpose of doing this is like we are just we want to save our cost okay because uh, on uh, on cloud things it's like cost how you can optimize the cost things okay and this is one of the way we can optimize our storage cost okay so uh, so how we can do this so so here i have one linux system that is ubuntu 20.04 version and here i have one storage account okay now just log into this server accept it and just pass username and password okay just i'm i'm increasing the font okay okay now let's let's do other things okay just i'm going through this uh, content guys and i will paste this in description okay so uh, it's nothing it's uh, uh, like it's creating a block here the block for fuge is helping us for the creating virtual drive okay that is the thing other things like uh, just we are going to follow this as tapes what is written here okay so just copy and paste so this command is uh, giving us uh, details about os okay now okay first of all we have to download that package so for downloading this package we we have to follow this this command w git copy this command holy and paste okay so first command is w git it's going to download that package second one in this one it's going to uh, configure our setting things is there so installation and this one is going to update the things okay now this operation is going on uh, let's uh, uh, go proceed next so uh, after that actually we have to install blob fuge okay so just copy this command and perform that okay guys so one more things guys here i'm just going with root root user why i will tell you at the end so exactly what is the issue it's really uh, something related to permission okay so that's why i switched with root user okay and uh, currently i'm working with pwd at the home directory of sysadmin okay i'm working at this location now uh now the thing is uh we have installed this blob fuse right now next step this is optional part guys okay this is totally different concept and different use cases this one also so this one also okay if you want to use that uh, whenever you are deploying a uh, linux system they are giving some or any operating system on Azure, they are giving some temporary drive. So if you want to use that SSD temporary drive, then you follow these things. Okay, this is step. No, we are not going to follow that. Now just copy this part and paste in Notepad. 
now I'm going to collect all the details regarding uh, like a account name so first of all we have to collect a account name so this is the account name other details access key account key right so just get, uh, scroll down and click on access keys just click on so and uh, then copy this key okay just paste here. now next uh, other things is my container container name you have to collect right so i think here we have to add one container anything my container or my log log okay my logs this is the container name okay here i'm just going with no uh, anonymous access the reason behind it just i'm testing if you are doing it is in production then according to your scenario just choose here right just create it okay my logs so just copy this so these details we have collected now just go to content here we have to create one uh, file using touch command just create that so as we can see this uh, this one okay just go to I'm there right so it should be here uh, just So as you can see this created here right at user home directory or whatever the currently we are at this slash room because we have logged in through this user right so it's home directory it's created okay now the thing is uh, we have to enter all the details which we have collected here in this file fuge underscore connection dot cnf uh, cfg okay just open it with beam okay just copy this detail and paste save it and quit okay now next step is we have to give the permission 600 okay just copy and paste follow so guys here it's a home directory means from which user you have logged in it's going to create their at their home directory okay so it's depend that tilde means home directory okay because we we have logged in uh, logged through this root right we have switched our current user is uh, root right so that's why it's creating on the root user home directory okay that is the thing now it's the permission changed right now next step next step is guys like we have to create some directory so whatever directory name you want to give you just give according to your name i'm just going with the default things okay my container so we have created one container right this one and the uh, here we can see the owner and group it's root right to root okay next step is we have to follow this command and mount that particular drive just copy this paste somewhere on notepad and modify according to the requirement so here block fuse command is there that path 
which you have created the directory this one is default one you don't need to do anything at this temporary path it's going to use as a temporary and uh, some virtual things okay behind the scene here you have to change this con uh, fuse underscore uh, connection dot cfg because we have created it under this path at this path right so we have to give this one slash root so just give here slash root right correct other thing you just uh, uh, put with uh, just go with the default okay i'm not going to change anything other okay just copy this okay and paste now just fire this command right so it's completed right now just go under that container ls nothing is here right and also you can go to container that particular container and replace nothing is here right now go to here and just create some uh, touch text test okay i'm just creating one file empty file right so i have created this test one now just go to uh, container and just press you will see this container is there right which you have created inside Linux system if you want to put some data you just open this and put here anything you can just uh, press I and put hello save it and quit just go to block container the size is also reflecting right six byte it's reflecting on the uh, container right so so that is the case guys and uh, one other things actually just i want to tell you it's a really permission uh, you will face some permission issue because here uh, i operated all the things with root user so it's working fine so suppose if i exit from here and uh, uh, now i'm using uh, sys admin user right if you do ls or some some if you if just go to slash root because all the things is there right so even you if you use sudo here so so many things is there right so that's why i'm just uh, saying you can use root in this case because i have seen lot of permission issues coming when uh, you are using a normal user at this point in the case of blob fuse things uh, exactly i don't know but uh, but uh, i will try to uh, get exactly what is the issue but when i'm creating this video that time exactly i don't know what is the uh, reason behind it but if you are creating and doing the uh, stuff with a simple user normal user uh, you will face lot of uh, permission issue and even you can't move inside that particular directory and other things so it's a totally uh, permission thing so you can manage its own so that's why i'm saying uh, you just go with uh, root user and uh, perform okay and